You know, we're, we're at a really extraordinary moment in our, uh, in our nation, I think. And, you know, every time we have a tragedy that gets the attention of the media, uh, we always hear that familiar phrase of um, giving people hopes and support. And people should have hope and support. But, you know, this is an opportunity for us to actually do something about that. Um, thinking a problem away does not make it go away. Bad news does not get better with time. It never has, and it never will. Um, we put people in policymaking positions for them to help us as a collective uh, to move uh, things forward. Um, what stimulated this particular forum was the last mass shooting that we, we had. Um, but again, I just remind you that each and every day we have a tragedy that occurs and many tragedies that occur in our community. Um, we also often get asked why the public health community is so concerned about that and whether or not this is our lane. But I want to be real clear about this. If it hurts people or kills people, it's ours. Now, it's not ours alone, but we do have an opportunity to gather with people in other disciplines, in health, in the criminal justice world, um, the public safety world, and policymakers to make a difference. What we hope to do today was give you a series of our thoughts about policies that work to reduce gun violence. Well, we're hoping that as our nation has this very intense debate over the next several days to weeks over how best to make our community safer and reduce the carnage that occurs from firearms in the context of legal authorities in the Second Amendment, we've given you some ideas of what will work and how we can move this nation forward. With that, I thank you. And please give all of our speakers a great round of applause. And we look forward to working with anyone that wants to make a difference. Thank you very much.